A lot of the times people think, well, if I'm good enough at what I do, the rest will take care of itself. Not always true. This applies to a lot of things, but obviously I'm going to talk about it mostly from the perspective of, of music. Um, go to a guitar center sometime, or a Sam Ash. Listen to the players there. Listen to the singers. You might find that there are some, some guys and girls that are really, really good. And the question that comes up in a lot of musicians sometimes is this angsty question, well, well, why aren't they on the radio? Or a lot of the times it even comes flipped. Well, how come such and such is on the radio, but guys like this and girls like this are not? That's because talent is not the whole picture. And I'm sure you've heard people say things like this before, but doing music requires doing business. And so I've actually like taken some notes here of things that have stood out to me of that, that kind of answer this question of why talent on its own isn't enough. Um, and just to kind of give you the bullet points, personality is important. Doing good business is important. Consistency is important. And so is purpose. So personality, right? You know, there, there are some big examples of maybe people who don't have the personality game on lock, but they're, you know, successful anyway. Well, by and large, if, if you want to advance in any kind of industry, don't be a jerk. I've had people, musicians cross my path who are very good at what they do, but I don't want them on my team. They're immature, and so they've got a little bit of an attitude about it. Or maybe, you know, they're nice, they're not jerks, but they're not emotionally stable, and so you don't know from one day to the next, are they gonna be in a good mood, or are they gonna be freaking out? Secondly, you wanna do good business. You know, when I was in grad school, I took a mix of communications and MBA courses. One of the coolest MBA courses I took was a class called Entrepreneurship in the Family Firm. We talked a lot about things like succession plans and um, people who started their own businesses, but one of, the, one of the main units we went through was core principles. It may not have been called that, it may have been called something else, but, but essentially that was the idea, was core principles, the guiding pillars of, of a business that gets started, of an enterprise that's going forward. What are the standards that this is gonna operate by from here on out? What are the, what are the basic ideas? They're gonna guide those things aesthetically. You know, what kind of partnerships we do and don't enter into, what kind of opportunities we do and don't take. You've gotta have your core principles figured out. I speak from the perspective of a Christian artist, and so you're gonna get a lot of faith-based stuff from me. I base my principles on the Word of God. Um, and that has, has made me think about who I do and don't do stuff with sometimes. You know, I, I've run across people who are very, very talented. I take one jaunt across their Facebook page, and I go, ha <laughs> no! Because people might talk a good game, once because they you know they want to work with you or they want an opportunity i mean look i advocate praying about it i advocate taking it before the lord but sometimes just a little swipe across their facebook page is all it takes for you to know <laughs> next third consistency right they say this about faith they say this about business they even say this about youtube you know people who have tried to get into making youtube a thing that they do primarily um, one of the things they say, that they say is, you know, put out content consistently, which is what I'm trying to do right now. So be consistent. You know, a lot of the times the reasons people fail is because they just don't keep at it long enough. Now, granted, some people just aren't called to do it. They think they want to be musicians. They think they want to be rock stars. They get all up about it. It's here today, gone tomorrow. Or maybe they just don't have the gift and somebody eventually has to break it to them. That happens. But... You know, let's say that you know this is what you're supposed to do, you, you know, you've got the skills in it, you, you know your purpose for going out, you just gotta be consistent. You gotta keep at it, you know, and even in the, in the sh relatively short time that I've been an artist, other artists have come and gone. I'm not going anywhere because I've known for a long time, this is a large part of what I'm gonna be doing with my life. And then finally, I kind of alluded to this a little bit before, but purpose. You know, this is a whole other video, a whole other, um, a whole other log that I'm probably gonna make. But to kind of boil it down to a point, just doing music for the sake of doing music, especially for me, is not enough on its own, right? I want to know why. 
I'm going out to affect lives. I'm going out to bring the gospel to people. I'm going out to affect culture. I'm going out to put words and thoughts of victory into people's minds and lives so that they can see it happen in their own lives. And I want to be a positive force for that. That's what drives me through the days when um, the music on its own isn't enough. You know, you don't feel like doing the work. You don't want to record that day. You really don't want to go play the show. You'd rather stay at home in your pajamas and not do your hair and, and, all, and all that kind of stuff. So purpose is important. It's one of those things that will contribute to the consistency we just got through talking about. So these and probably many other reasons more are why talent on its own is not enough to make you successful. For some people, eh, it happens from time to time, but it's not the only thing. So something to think about. Make sure that you uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel. Grab my original music, it's in the description. There'll be an end screen here and you'll see all of that. I'll catch you again really soon, onward and upward.